Hello, my name is Paul Konikowski, and today I will show you step-by-step -step how to update the firmware on your Revo Labs HD Executive Wireless Microphone Systems. This video is short and some of the steps in the video may take a few minutes, so be ready to pause the video after each step. Step 1 is to download the firmware file, which is actually a zip folder. To download the firmware, type this address into your browser http colon slash slash bit dot ly slash hd firmware this will download a zip file to your local computer make note of which folder the file is being downloaded to you don't need to unzip this file just yet step two is to download the hd control panel software type in http colon slash slash bit.ly slash hdcp software and note the location of the downloaded zip file. If you have installed the previous version of the HD control panel software you should uninstall the old version and get the latest version instead. Place the microphone charging base with all the microphones in the base in proximity to your PC and plug in a USB to mini USB cable the charger must also be plugged in via its electrical power outlet. Windows should detect the charger as an unknown USB device, that's okay. Install the Revo Labs HD software that you downloaded in step 2. This should properly install the Windows driver for the charger base. A command prompt should pop up that says installing driver to confirm that the driver is being installed. Power up your HD executive receiver if you have not done so already. Direct connect a Cat5 straight through cable from your PC's Ethernet port to the LAN port on the back of your HD executive receiver. Disable your wireless internet connection if you're using one. The only connection should be between the HD box and your laptop via the Cat5 cable. Using the buttons on the front of your Executive HD, hit the Home button and then scroll down to DHCP. Press Enter to turn DHCP off. Reboot the Executive HD using the power switch on the back of the unit. Once the system boots up, it should pull a Windows Base IP address. This may take up to a minute. If DHCP is already off on this system and it already has an IP address, then a static IP has been set. You can skip this step. Set the current IP on your laptop as a static IP address one octet away from the executive HD. For instance, if the HD box is 169.168.100.50, then set your laptop to 169.168.100.51. Open the HD control panel software. It can be found on the Windows Start menu under Programs Revo Labs. Go to System Select, scan the network. It should list your HD executive. Click the checkbox to select and then click OK. Click the firmware button. Make sure the base and the mic checkboxes are both checked. Choose the firmware zip file that you downloaded earlier. This is why it was important to note where on your local computer the firmware was downloaded to. Then click Start Update. When the process is complete, the software will say Base and Mic Firmware Update Complete. You may see the system reboot during the update process. That's normal. If you receive an FTP error immediately upon starting the process, you may need to disable the Windows Firewall close the software, reboot the HD executive, and attempt the firmware update again. At this point the firmware update is complete, but I still suggest rebooting the devices before closing the software. Now I don't mean rebooting your PC, I mean clicking the reboot button on the screen to reboot the wireless microphone system. This concludes the Revo Labs HD executive firmware update procedure. If you have any additional questions, please email support at revolabs.com or visit www.revolabs.com forward slash support. You can also connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. 
Thank you for your time today.